and today is 52 weeks that I've been doing the four week challenge. Oh, and I have purple hair. <laughs> it's the quarantine Easter, so I get to stay home and look like shit. Yay! So the four week challenge is a challenge I saw on Facebook. I saw the challenge and I was like, I want to do it, I want to do it, I want to do it. And then I just didn't. <laughs> and my friend sent it to me, so what's up Jamie? I love you. She was like, yo, well, let's do this. And I was like, yo, I'm so down. And that's when I started it. It is no soda, no white bread, no cakes, cookies, donuts, no ice cream, no, no, <laughs> no candy, no fast food, and no fried food for four weeks. I'm sorry, I'm going to be constantly fixing my hair because I just feel like shit. Oh, wait, that's what I didn't say. There's no french fries either. <laughs> it was very hard to start this challenge it's just that i was so unhappy when i looked in the mirror and i was just like <laughs> like stop girl it was like from easter i want to say 2018 and at my family like dinner we were eating at my aunt and uncle's house and my bro brother is always known for taking like the group pictures at the dinner table and I just looked at myself and I was like, holy cow, like, I literally look like a cupcake. <laughs> like, <laughs> I was so heavy. I weighed 217 pounds in 2017, which, as you guys may or may not know, 2017 was the worst year ever. Then again, here we are, quarantine life. I, mean, I was very depressed. I literally, all I did was eat. <laughs> eat play san andreas play animal crossing which i'm going to add my pocket camp down below please add me i need cotton <laughs> and paper I started working at king Collin later on in 2017 then i started dropping weight because i was working so you know like it's just that fugazi ass weight that you put on it just drops out of nowhere i got into a relationship with somebody at work and then i just started eating fast food like all the time fast food i never saw it like fast food was the problem when i lived in queens mcdonald's was like like right down the block and i didn't really eat that much if anything i was only going to mcdonald's for their cookies because those are slap. <laughs> There's just so many things that added up to me being over 220 pounds. I mean, the highest I was ever was in 8th grade, and that was when I was 250. I want to say ice cream is the biggest thing that is, like, killing me. I love ice cream. <laughs> like, cakes, cookies, donuts. Like, I don't really eat that. And it's like, why? Ice cream is actually good for you. <laughs> like, isn't it made with milk? <laughs> like, soda was very hard, but like, also, I really slowed down on drinking soda. Like, when I weighed 217 pounds, I always drank soda. It was always soda. Soda, soda, soda. I drank soda when I ate dinner. I drank soda when I wasn't eating dinner. I brushed my teeth with soda. Like, it's so bad for your teeth. It's so bad for your soul, but it's so good. <laughs> I used to eat Chinese food. Which I haven't ate that, and it's not because of coronavirus! I haven't eaten Chinese food in a minute because of this challenge, but it was always, I needed soda. Because it's like macaroni too. Macaroni, anything that's heavy in my stomach after I eat, <laughs> we need soda here. And like, don't get me wrong, there's days where I have soda because my period kills me, and that's the only thing that cures it. But on the bright side, it's only the little bottle. And I usually don't finish it unless I'm having a really bad day at work. <laughs> then I finish it. So the four week challenge is cr it's great if you want to lose weight. Like especially now since summer is coming real quick and we're praying we get out of quarantine. This is the best way. I think anyone could do this. Honestly, it's really not that hard. So do you go to the gym? What do you do at the gym? How do you work out? How do you do this? How do you do that? Um, I don't go to the gym. <laughs> That's how I do it. There's just no need for me to go to the gym when I have everything at home. So I just save my money and not go to the gym. Sound cool? Yeah, I use the Wii Fit, which is another thing people always are like, bro, you use the Wii Fit for what? If it has the Wii Fit benefit you, it isn't for you, it isn't for you. But 
it, it is for me for the simple fact that it's at home. I could do it right when I wake up. I could do it right before I go to sleep. It, I could do it whenever I want. I literally have to just hit the button and it turns it on. But I also like it for the fact that like it also, it helps you. It guides you. It gives you tips. It keeps you on track. Like I'm not the person, as you can see, I'm all over the place as it is. It keeps like me in a routine. It keeps all track of my records so i don't have to worry about it basically it tells me if i'm fat or not <laughs> but that's how it's beneficial to me like it's just quick easy at home i lost 54 pounds from last year but from 2017 i lost 74 pounds which is literally what i lost the first time for my sweet 16 i lost 75 pounds wow big difference I lost 75 pounds for my sweet 16 so I could fit in that dress. I will put a clip right here of me. It looks so good that day. Oh my god, I loved it. And I put it all back on, obviously, after I graduated high school. Underneath the video, I will have exactly all of the workout routines that I do. Basically, just for toning because, like, picture me like this, right? My back goes like this, so my stomach goes like that. <laughs> what I've learned... Through this whole process don't drink and eat at the same time that is what everyone's problem is that's why you feel bloated after you eat and that's where your fat comes from so it took me weeks to get used to that you feel your stomach like so it just feels lighter for some reason i don't i don't know what it is but it just feels lighter you don't have that like <sighs> feeling after you eat you know like you can actually breathe whatever beverage you're drinking let's just say water for easy piece of cake sake um <laughs> water is soaking up most of the nutrients and the minerals that you need from the food that you're eating and then you're eating more on top of that which creates bloating and then you're stuffed like when you don't drink and eat at the same time you can feel satisfied and actually be satisfied you drink 30 minutes before your meal and 30 minutes after your meal if you don't want to do the four week challenge do this this is like the biggest thing literally everyone who asks me about this diet this is the biggest thing I try to stress to everybody. I didn't see no results, which, you know, there's times where I don't see results at all. But I've seen results and I will show you pictures from like after graduating high school to last year to now. Like you'll see the difference. Another big thing about this challenge, and this wasn't something that was a part of the challenge. It was something I created. <laughs> <laughs> oh not really i created cheat days were always a thing usually my cheat day was sunday because like the last day of the week i first started the diet i really pushed myself to not have that many cheat days because i limited to my cheat days to the end of the month so the last sunday of every month was my cheat day i could indulge on ice cream which is the only thing i really indulged on was ice cream oh chips too did i ever mention chips <laughs> no cakes cookies donuts no chips no french fries or chips, okay, people, if I didn't mention that before. Now my cheat days are like maybe twice a month. And it's more or less like most of my cheat days like will be during my cycle. <laughs> you know, like I want ice cream when I'm sad and emotional because I'm a girl and we go through this every month, but that's okay. Focus on yourself mentally, emotionally, and physically. If you look in the mirror and you don't like what you're seeing, change it. If you feel like you're good, all the power to you. Because there's some people like us over here who still don't feel good. <laughs> it's a process. I'll be real with you. I didn't think I was going to make it through the whole year. I didn't even think I was going to make a week. But here I am, a year later, making this YouTube video for everyone who's asking me for the past year. Which, I'm so sorry it took so long. I'm drinking one of these a day. For someone who never used to drink water. But... It's Nikkei, sponsored by Pollen Spring. <laughs> this is the prime time now for workouts. Like, my body's been used to this diet now, so it's more or less me working out and pushing my body to continue to do more. One thing I am very concerned about is I don't want to lose too much weight. I don't want to look sick. I don't want to look like, damn, Nick, you really need to eat again. <laughs> 
No drinking and eating at the same time. Try to limit your cheat days because cheat days will become every day. <laughs> Real quick. And for four weeks, there is no soda, no white bread, no cakes, no cookies, no donuts, no ice cream, no chips, no fries, no fast food, no fried food. Oh, and no candy. No candy. You have to be there mentally, you have to be there emotionally, and it's just one month if you think about it. Now it's more or less me toning and staying on track with working out every day. You could do it. This is the four week challenge vlog that everyone's been waiting for. Voila! 143. Hello, this is Nikkei, it's, and it's lit regardless. <laughs> I've never felt so great in my life. And I'm so grateful for everyone who was supporting me during this time. I wanted to just make it cut and dry and very simple for everyone to understand. I wanted to just show you what I do from my perspective, from the weep bit. And basically that's it. Like, pictures are to prove it. So if you have me on Instagram, you could see on Instagram, like picture speak a thousand words and you'll see like wow like she did lose a lot of weight thank you guys for your support you guys can do this it's very easy you don't have to do anything crazy to yourself to lose weight and just stay beautiful stay lit regardless guys so i'm gonna record my workout um it's a fucking hour workout it's more or less toning the body because from this 50 pounds that i lost from last year um that's basically all the fat that I burn from fast food, from eating unhealthy. So I'm just looking to tone out my stomach. This is my own routine that I figured out what was best for me. So here I am, overweight as fuck. <laughs> I mean, that's literally what I look like. So we're gonna go in this little door here. So we go into my routine. So you can make your own routine here and it's honestly pretty lit because I don't wanna do every one of these. So, as you can see, it's 54 minutes long, so... Great, keep it up!
jump, bitch, jump. I'm gonna get hit. Oh, no, okay, cool. Cool, 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 bitch, cool. <gasps> Come on, come on. <laughs> Say what? Say what? <laughs> Great, keep it up.